You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Megan Knight with your WMAR 2 News update and tonight there's going to be a vigil to remember a 15 year old girl shot and killed in East Baltimore. Janiah Whedon was murdered on Gelston Street last week. There's a candlelight and prayer vigil for her tonight at the Banneker Community Center on Main Avenue in Catonsville. That's scheduled to start at 715. Well, more than a week after a popular concert venue announced its COVID-19 policy for concert goers, it has now updated those protocols. IMP, which runs Meriwether Post Pavilion in Columbia and some other local venues, says that starting on October 17th, only fully vaccinated people will be allowed to attend shows and events there. The only exceptions will be kids under 12 and those with medical conditions that prevent them from being vaccinated. Now, this is a change from their original policy, which would have also allowed entry to those who have a negative COVID test. That will stay in place, though, until the updated policy takes effect again on October 17th. Well, it's a Purple Friday here in Baltimore. The Ravens on the road getting ready for their second preseason game. The Ravens just wrapping up their second joint practice with the Carolina Panthers. Now the two teams will play in Charlotte tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Still not clear if Lamar Jackson will be starting as the quarterback for the Ravens. By the way, they have not lost a preseason game since 2015. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Happy Friday, Maryland. Temperatures today only hitting the upper 70s and the lower 80s, and we're typically supposed to be around 86 degrees for this time of year. So below that, because of the cloud cover and even some of that leftover moisture that's going to linger throughout the afternoon and into the early evening hours, and clouds will dominate the forecast overnight into your Saturday. So we're looking a little bit cloudier even for your Saturday afternoon with that threat for some more widespread showers and storms. Temperatures rise around 87 degrees, nearing that 90 degree mark for Sunday. So feeling warmer and more humid, but seeing a little bit more sunshine for the back half of the weekend. Heading into early next week, the chance for an isolated storm can't be ruled out either, but temperatures make it back up above normal. We're talking lower 90s, but feeling even hotter than that. Heading into Tuesday and Wednesday, the potential for uh, mainly sunny skies. And also we have temperatures around 92 degrees, but feeling more like the triple digits. Well, stay with us online at WMAR2news.com for updates and for news and weather while you are on the go. Remember, you can download the WMAR2 News app in your phone's app store. Thanks so much for watching. I'm Megan Knight. This WMAR2 News update is sponsored by Jones Junction.